Hi, my name is Barry Bowling. I'm with Yokogawa Corporation of America, and uh, I work in the uh, test and measurement group division. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you today a uh, software called DL Term, together with a uh, test instrument called a Scope Quarter. And uh, here you have uh, the uh, DL850 Scope Quarter. Uh, we call it a Scope Quarter because it has both the characteristics of a scope for you know short term or faster measurements, and also uh, characteristics of a recorder uh, in the same instrument. So it's very versatile. And uh, I have a software here that I've pulled up here on the screen. And uh, this software is called uh, DL Term. It basically allows me to transmit uh, one line at a time uh, skippy commands uh, via Ethernet over to the DL850. Here I've initialized the scope quarter, the DL850, and I've brought up a pair of sine waves. Doing some quick math on those, multiplication, addition, subtraction, a binary function, and a pair of FFTs. Okay. Um, this is uh, math that's being performed on the data after it has been acquired and is already in memory. Okay, I've cleared uh, the, the screens here to prepare for my next demo, which is going to be an XY plot. Uh, here I'm acquiring um, a pair of sine waves, and um, those will be fed over to this XY mode, and a pair of cursors are being applied to this pair of let's say just figures here. And there it is full screen. Back to the sine waves, I'm doing a live updating degrees measurement, that unit that is measured in degrees, uh, the phase difference between those two waveforms. I'm adding other measurements here, peak-to-peak uh, -peak voltage, RMS current, frequency, I still have the uh, phase delay there being displayed. On the bottom waveform I'm taking snapshots with this little function called snapshot. I can save those to a file, use them for reports, leave them on screen as a reference waveform. So that's a really handy feature to have, and it's one button. Back to the sine waves, and now I'm doing an FFT on one of the sine waves. Uh, the FFT is fully usable, user, user configurable. I can set the sensitivity and the, the decibels per division. Okay, back to the sine waves. I'm doing an accumulate mode here, which would be handy for looking at very rare occurring anomalies on the waveform. And that's a, that has a time constant associated with it. Okay, the next demo is going to be DSP math. And uh, actually that was user definable math there real quick. Here's our DSP math. This is hardware assisted real time. And uh, basically I'm taking these two sine waves, treating them as a voltage waveform, current waveform, and doing the instantaneous power plot. I'm taking uh, the trend line voltage RMS, I RMS, current RMS here, calculating the apparent power and plotting it as a trend. And uh, then I'm doing power in watts, active power in that graph, and then I'm doing reactive power. And you're seeing the reactive power and the, the real power, or active power, move around there because my, my two waveforms are shifting uh, past one another. So that's a demonstration of both uh, the DL term scripting software and the DL850 with uh, the DSP math. Thank you.